Welcome back, guys. This is the two-week update of our 41-way ceramic coatings sealants product longevity test. As you can see, the weather we've had in the last two weeks, actually most of that is in the last week, we've had uh, about three centimeters of rain. The week prior didn't have much. The next seven days, we have about six inches or 15 centimeters of rain scheduled to arrive. If you'd like to support the channel, patreon.com slash scotthd, and there's Venmo, PayPal, and where you can send some fan mail if you'd like to. As usual, we'll do the foam it down, rinse it, foam it, wash it, rinse it, and then of course we will inspect all the hydrophobic properties. Make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button, comment down below, it does really help out the algorithm so more people get to see tests like this. So if you've been following along, last week update, we had Eel Ho, which is down towards the bottom, Seafoam Fast Finish, and Fortador that were already failed. Seaquartz Finest Reserve, Seaquartz Professional. Professional definitely looks a little more hydrophobic than Finest. And we know that Fortador had already failed. I did adjust the contrast for this video so you can see the so you can see the hydrophobics a little bit better. It does weird things to the orange and to the spray, just so you're aware. Apex Rehydra Bead looks okay. DPC T3 and T9 both looking all right. Very hydrophobic. Apex Metal Oxide Coating by Art to Shine looks good. Extreme Solutions Poly Seal. We are going to mark that week at the 14 day mark. It's definitely lacking in hydrophobics. Nanoskin Ultra T1, not quite calling it weak, but you can see it is definitely getting there. Nano Skin T3. It's kind of in the same boat, so not quite weak, but it's probably pretty close. Nano Skin Ceramic Sealant. We are calling that one weak. It is almost to the point where we'd call it failed, but it's it's still got a little bit, so we'll give it the benefit of the doubt this time, but that's pretty disappointing. 14 days. NGNT looking good for the 1 and 1K plus. Maguire's three and one, we're going to call that week at the 14 day mark. Avalon King, doing all right, but when you compare it right next to Nano Age or Nano Bond, that is significantly more hydrophobic than Avalon King, but Avalon King's still doing okay. The Chinese 10 age coating, it's doing all right. Gion can coat Q2 looking very hydrophobic, extremely hydrophobic. And where my logo is, that's the control. Drive Auto Nano 9H also looking very hydrophobic. McGuire's hybrid paint coating also very good. New finish, spray ceramic, very hydrophobic. Underdog Sauce Pro, also very hydrophobic. Gloss at 10H and 5H, doing good. NGNT 2 and 3K, looking good as well. Grios 3 and 1 SiO2, looking good. G Technic Ultra, very hydrophobic. IGL Premier, also very hydrophobic. That's a spray sealant. Owner's Pride, Tech 580, and Speed Coat, all three of those looking very, very hydrophobic. Remember, Tech, tech 580, it's like $18. It's a cheap coating. Lone Star Pre-Production IGL Easy Graphene. Looks like my <laughs> my sprayer is on fire. That's not the case. That's just the that's the adjusted contrast. 
Eelho 12H Graphene failed. Chemical Guys Hydro Slick and Hydro Charge, both of those we are going to mark weak at the 14 day mark. Water sticking to them pretty good to the point where they're almost failed. Chemical Guys uh, Carbon Force, it's looking good as is Ammo Reflex. So there is your two week update, lots of changes. Sorry about the clipping on the sides there. I had my large lens, lens hood on because it was very bright out. Any surprises? I think I'm, I'm more surprised new finish, the ceramic spray. I'm surprised that it's doing this well at the two week mark. Uh, it's a it's a new product. That's, that's kind of the one that has been a big surprise for me. Uh, there you go, guys. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.